Want to get your bunny hops dialed in? This is the place to start. We're going to start at the very beginning of the bunny hop. It's kind of weird watching all the YouTube videos. They kind of like start on step five, how to get a higher bunny hop. We want to get those tires off the ground first before we can get to the higher bunny hop. So we're going to start at step one, getting us off the ground. Hey, this is Keith with Two Wheels on Dirt. I'm a Pimba Level 3 mountain bike instructor and instructor trainer for Ninja Performance Mountain Biking. I have been coaching mountain bikes and BMX since 2012. Come along with me. I've got the key to unlock your bunny hops. <laughs> Typically, instruction for the bunny hop actually starts at like step five, how to get a higher bunny hop. We're gonna skip a lot of frustration. We're gonna get the tires off the ground consecutively, front tire to the back tire. Then we're gonna work on getting a higher bunny hop. But first, we're gonna start at step one, which is the wheel lift. So we're gonna start with the front wheel lift, compress into the ground, concentrate on the energy that you put into the ground. The more energy we put into the ground, the higher our center of mass will rise, the higher the front wheel lift will be. So if you notice in that front wheel lift, as we compress down into the ground and we come up, our center of mass rises, the bike and body act as one, acts as one in the wheel lift, and it'll act as one in the bunny hop. What we wanna do is to get our center of mass higher. The higher we get our center of mass, our hips, the higher the bunny hop will be. So now that we've got that front tire off the ground, we're gonna quickly progress to the bunny hop. Now here's the part that's different than most instruction that you'll find. Most instruction will talk about get in the manual position, get back, pull, come around, do everything, and pretty much you know you're rubbing your head, patting your belly, and doing all that stuff. We want to break it down and make it a lot simpler. So we're going to start out just by going up and down, and notice what happens here. Compress down with that front wheel lift, and when that front tire is at the highest point, direct the front tire down to the ground. You do that when your center of mass is higher, that rear wheel will naturally come off the ground. We are not scooping the rear end, we're actually absorbing it into our body. Got a quick little visual aid here to show what happens, how that rear wheel comes up in the bunny hop. So bike and rider are operating as one unit. We're one center of mass. When we compress down, that bike is coming up with us. We're compressing the bike down in, that front wheel's coming up. So as that front wheel's coming up, imagine this is the front wheel, this is the rear wheel. So as that front wheel is coming up and everything's rising, we're gonna throw that front wheel down to the ground. Everything's still rising or up there, that's gonna cause the rear wheel to come up. So this stick. So I'm not throwing that, the back of the stick up, it's just that motion, it's just coming off my hand. Everything's going up. Pushing that down. That's what causes that rear wheel to come off the ground. We are not actually scooping that rear wheel off the ground. We are absorbing it into the bike. This is one thing that causes issues on the bunny hop is you're thinking of coming up and then you're thinking of lifting that bike up into you. That's doing a whole bunch with your body and we're actually doing a lot less than that. We're coming up, throwing that bike down. Sounds really simple, but in a lot of things that we do when we ride, it's a lot more simple then we try to make it. When working on the bunny hop, it's best to have a target, something to go over. I like to use a two by four, something that has some substance that you can get over. Roll over it, front tire over it. When the front tire gets to the highest point, direct that front tire to the ground, that rear tire will follow. So if that rear tire does not follow, you're not finishing out the moves. So when we're doing that front wheel lift, we wanna come all the way up and hop like that. Now look at my toes. My toes pointed. That's finishing out the move. What happens a lot in bunny hops when people are first learning it, they don't finish out the move. They'll come up and keep their legs, legs like that. Finish the move, let those toes point, wreck that front tire to the ground, and you will have the bunny hop. So that's straight up and down bunny hop. The beginner bunny hop, this is the part before all the other videos, we're just straight and down, straight up and down. The more energy you put into the ground, the higher that bunny hop's gonna be, but there is only so high you can get your center of mass going straight down into the ground. So here's the point where all the other tutorials start in that is how to get a higher bunny hop. 
So in order to get higher on the bunny hop, we need to get our hips higher, our center of mass higher. In order to do that, we're gonna have to pull back up on that bike and meet at the top at a higher center of mass, then throw that front tire down. Now to do this, I'm gonna get out the Ninja Garage Bunny bunny hop trainer and show you. Okay, for that first part of the bunny hop, getting that front tire up over the stick and we're directing it towards the ground, absorbing that rear end. The whole bike and body operate as one unit. Center of mass is rising, throw that front tire down, that rear tire is gonna come up. So now in order to get a higher bunny hop, we're gonna have to get that front tire higher, we're gonna have to get our center of mass higher. And to demonstrate that, I've got the Ninja Garage Bunny, pretty cool device. Helps you work on your bunny hops. So that front wheel lift, that's as high as I can get. That's as high as I can get that front wheel lift. So in order to get that higher bunny hop, get our hips higher, we're gonna have to compress down, come back and pull those bars to the hips. Similar to if I was lifting a barbell and it was out in front of me, I'll have to get my weight back to pull it towards the body to meet at the highest point to lift it up. It's the same thing with the bike. Since the bike is so long, we've got to get our weight back to we meet with our hips at a higher point. So if I'm just straight down, that's as high as my hips can come. But if I come back, my hips can get much, much higher. Boom. So as you can see here on the uh, larger bunny hop start on the right, that the uh, bottom bracket slash pedals are higher, the front wheel is much higher, the hips are higher, my head and, well, chin is higher, and there is still some upward momentum in that right frame. You'll want to start small and then progress higher. So start with that front wheel lift bunny hop over like one stick and then progress to like a larger stick. Just going a little bit back and meeting up at the top, progress to where going all the way back. And the more you work on this, the more you'll get dialed in on the technique and the higher that bunny hop will be. So that's the bunny hop starting at 101. Now go out and work on it. I recommend finding a parking lot, getting a two by four, set your phone out to record yourself. I found in my clinics that when I teach the bunny hop this way, nobody believes me that the back tire is coming off the ground. So I've got to get some video evidence and show them. The bunny hop is actually easy. Start with that compression, front wheel lift, throw that front tire to the ground. Remember, you don't have to think about scooping that rear end, lifting that rear end up. You're not, it follows you. The bike and rider are a complete system. Now really to dial that bunny hop in, you got to have those good front wheel lifts. So check out this video right here and until next time, let's keep it two wheels on dirt.